So I haven't been online lately because I have not been well, but I'm recovering slowly back to work, back to, you know, life and all this other stuff. So today I want to talk about Hedera Hashgraph as I'm back now, right? Because I've been seeing some videos that, you know, I don't like that, bro. So this might be a rant. Settle down. Let's get right onto it. So stay tuned, like and subscribe. Let's get right onto this one. But before we do, check this out, guys. This is a video from a crypto mogul, a cryptocurrency personality. Who would have thought, man, three years ago, I did a video about this guy and he was such an awesome kid that wanted to save the world and he wound up right here in handcuffs three years later. When I made that video, I will leave the link of it in the description box below. SBF was acquiring um, SushiSwap. SushiSwap just exit scammed, you know, the developer of SushiSwap, Chief Nomi, decided to steal everybody's money on the first day of SushiSwap launching and refused to return the fund. So Sam Bankman fried stepped up and said hey man i'll buy it up and then we'll do x y and z with it and it seems like he was always fascinated with um crypto platforms that went down you know he tried to do it with three arrows capital recently celsius to buy it right after they collapsed i don't know if he tried it with luna but you know BlockFi or whatever all of these other companies that was going insolvent he was trying to buy them i think he was in the business of doing such x y and z but just looking at this video man look at this dude's sad face and looking down and just depressed and it, it it makes you question whether all of this was worth it was it really honestly to make a couple of millions out of people so you just end up like this in handcuffs possibly in jail for a couple of years you know and this is the sad part about crypto and uh, my channel is passion people always mistaken my channel for um, negativity you know it's not negativity it's just passion it's somebody who really wants a, a better crypto space especially a better DeFi space you don't want a, a, a DeFi developer to end up right here in handcuffs you don't want to see that bro i wouldn't wish that on any DeFi developers so if you see us angry sometimes or we seem just it's just passion it's uh frustration it's people who are uh, urging others especially developers to you know take care of your platforms man take care of your the, the people because they made these promises to us we're just investors but and we keep losing our money somebody keeps playing with us they play with our emotions they play with our pockets and they laugh at, in, at our faces when these platforms go down you know what i'm saying uh, it happened recently with furio it happened recently with you know so many exploits this year alone is DeFi was the most disgusting year ever 90 percent of people who was in DeFi or who, who are still currently in DeFi have not made jack no money at all take it from a guy who lost ten thousand dollars in deep messing with DeFi platforms look at my channel and the stupid videos i made from january this year all the way down to now and you would see exactly what i mean bro and this is right here this here a developer could end up right here in handcuffs because you're playing with people's emotions and people's money and you think this is a laughing matter but it's not bro it's not you could end up right here i wouldn't wish that on you though i'm not gonna go out there and and, and contact the fbi and all this mm -mm. we let the people who do the snitching stuff they do that kind of stuff we investors i'm staying in my corner and i don't move like that you're lucky you have guys like that 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 are not really you know uh, uh out there uh, being so outspoken let's get rally up the police bring them here let's bring regulations in here but instead every time i make a video i say hey watch out even to the people who don't like me i'm like yo watch out man even people with other platforms that don't really like nakamoto crypto i always try to urge yo man watch out sec might be coming watch out for this watch out for that i always try to get people to be cautious because i don't want them to end up like this because this is not cool bro dude could potentially be facing many many years in in in, in uh, prison and sam bankman fried told everybody how he came up in crypto that right there should have, should have been the number one suspicion as to for people not to put money into ftx or anything this man had created years ago i listened to an interview of him right and the guy asked him sam how did you come up in crypto man and he goes you know 
I just came up um, by um, arbitrage trading. Guy said, what's that? He goes, well, I found out in an American exchange, Bitcoin was listed for $10,300. And then I looked over there at the Japanese exchange, Bitcoin was listed for $9,800, just under 10 k So I'm like, hmm, there's a margin here. There's a big gap. So he would go and borrow $10 million from the bank and he would just put all $10 million to buy Bitcoin from the Japanese exchange. He then takes it over to the American exchanges and then flip it on the American exchanges for 10,300. That little margin there, you do it a couple of times a day, a couple of times a week, you make hundreds of thousands of dollars to millions of dollars per year. So this is how he came up. And finally the idea came up with him, you know, doing DeFi. He, DeFi, I think he got introduced to it through uh, Sushi Swap. Watch that video, link in the description box below. I made it sometimes in 2020. And uh, he also, you know, started like that. And then after that, he founded FTX and he started going. There's a reason why I never touched FTX. I've done over 400 videos on this channel. I never talked about uh, Celsius until they went down never talked about terra luna until they went down i never talked about you know three hours capitals block and all these other platforms because i'm a guy that believe in put your money in an investment coin go up sell that's it i don't like you locking my funds to give me 20 percent per year i'm not that greedy bro. even crypto staking it took me a long time there's a reason why i only like cardano staking I don't do crypto.com staking and all these other staking where they lock up your things for a period and unlock it or whatever. I don't know how that works. But Cardano staking, you click unstake, all your coins are right there in your, in your instantaneously back to your wallet. You don't have to lock your period. There's no lock up period. I don't like Ethereum staking. I don't even like staking because that's for, for me, that's greed. It's, it's good passive income money coming back your way since your coins are just sitting there instead of you you know putting it in a savings accounts invest them somewhere and you get more coins the idea is great but with celsius i looked at it i'm like how are they generating these yields not your keys not your crypto you got to give them all your bitcoins and then hope for the best that they can generate 20 percent out of that that means when you give it to them they were playing bank that you got to literally lend it to them they would take it and lend it to others and it'll come back or they would take it and leverage trade it and do that this is i found this out through my five-year journey into crypto early on i'm like i'm not touching none of this this is not safe why i'm not putting my crypto in my wallet why i gotta give it to celsius put it in their website to gain 20 percent apy or whatever crap that they were selling same thing with terra luna once i see it's 20 percent apy this much apy i'm not messing with none of that stuff i'm a very conservative investor put your money into something wait for a long time coin go up sell that's it i don't want to get tied up in none of that mess and i've never ever been that person but this is the reason why out of my 400 videos you never seen me talk about ftx terra luna chilling all of those kind of crap because i knew exactly that not your keys not your crypto ever since a cryptocurrency exchange went down back in january of 2018 where i lost a ton load of electronium to this day i haven't gotten it back and that was cryptopia if you guys remember cryptopia it was the largest exchange back then that was trading with electronium and all these other cryptos lost some etns there after that and I, I don't leave my coins binance kucoin if i use kucoin it'll be a quick trade boom buy sell get out i never ever leave my coin on any crypto exchange for the past couple of years now with that being said let's get to hedera hash graph now h bar uh why am i pissed off because sometimes right i see people you know making videos talking about you know it, the fear is everywhere but it's a bear market uh it, everything is going down watch out you're gonna do x y and z the market's gonna dump market is down 90 percent it's gonna go down another 10 percent so that's another 90 percent you're gonna lose who cares about or oh, none of that stuff bro what can't kill you can only make you stronger bro the, what i'm trying to say is that we just came out of a three-year pandemic you know what happened back in march of 2020 bitcoin dropped so scary everybody thought bitcoin was gonna go to zero 
it dropped overnight from nine thousand dollars all the way down to three thousand dollars alongside with tesla stock which dropped all the way down to 85 dollars uh the entire global market collapsed we thought it was over it's a pandemic the economy is done no more investing and they scared everybody to death you know what happened a year later bitcoin told the whole world i'm gonna still do my four-year cycle despite the pandemic i don't care about rate hikes fed rate hikes uh people printing money not printing money whatever bitcoin went back from three thousand dollars march of 2020 to april 2021 all the way up to sixty four thousand dollars that is absolutely an impressive run which means with bitcoin's four-year cycle doesn't really care about these things bro it's gonna go up whether the the feds control whoever's controlling it is gonna bring the market back up bro. so why are you worried now why you, we're down already 90 percent we're gonna go down to what if we down to another what 10 90 percent what this is gonna go down to one cent or under it just means that you have more h bar tokens so think about it logically this way bro if you are dollar cost averaging keep dcaing i've been dcaing for the past couple of weeks to the past couple of months and i'm happy with what i'm doing bro for the first time i'm stacking up on so much coins and i don't care if the price go down under it just means i have more coins tokens to buy at a cheaper rate right now i'm buying them at four cents if this thing goes back to three cents two cents under a cent that means it's gonna take me faster to accumulate a hundred thousand h bar tokens for example and that's my goal to get there and get even more you know to get at least 100k ada uh, cardano you know to get at least a hundred thousand v chain tokens and get there uh get you uh, i don't know 0.5 to 1 btc accumulate that right there is dca you should not care about these prices right now because the long-term potential you can accumulate more and more tokens as we are right now in a bear market because let's say you had uh ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars to throw into the market right now if i was you i wouldn't throw the entire thing into the market but i would break it down piece by piece once a week put in fifty dollars to a hundred dollars to you you know into your favorite cryptocurrencies instead of throwing the entire money in it as we're going down you're accumulating more and more coins like that you don't want to buy at four cents and it goes down to one cent that means you lost money so the best thing to do now is not to fear none of that people are saying dca is not working short the market anybody who's teaching you to leverage trade short market now is going to get wrecked at some point bro because if this thing miraculously reverses and turns bullish what they're gonna do all of their short tradings are gonna go down to zero so you never ever know this is why i never touch leverage trading i never preach leverage trading i don't preach that kind of stuff on this platform your money the little bit of money you have save it and put as little as possible where you can bit by bit every single week whatever you can afford doesn't matter if it's 50 dollars, 100 bucks 150 dollars, whatever you can afford to put a set aside for your financial future in crypto do that and for the next two and a half years you will thank me later this is how i want you guys to move be very very careful uh in this market but don't be so fearful as it's crypto but we've seen it all this this bear market is the softest bear market ever trust me bro i came out of the 2018 2019 bear market and if i'm telling you that I, even with 2020 what happened this compared to that this bear market ain't jack it's nothing there's nothing to fear here prices go down buy some more tokens sit on your tokens because h bar you know governing councils h bar you know uh former finance leader take up executive roles with hedero you know the news out there bro constellation dag uh look at the governing councils right here amongst their owners you got f post google uh ibm Chainlink labs you know all of these entities some of the largest entities on the planet uh owning this open source technology which is so awesome and it's distributed ledger technology is one of the winning technologies one of the fastest chains in crypto ever you send money with h bar you're never gonna regret it bro so i'm just telling you right now get you some h bar token make it a goal to buy at least a few h bars every single week is not gonna hurt you as we going down because the lower we go the more crypto 
you are going to accumulate the more h bar you are going to gain with that being said right like up the video share it subscribe don't fear nothing for some crypto content man i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out